said, he said, at the time, he got so ill, he didn't understand what was happening, followed scriptural steps that he knew, praise the Lord, watch my words, the steps he knew, he followed them, confessed the scriptures, things were not changing on the third day. You know what he did? He began to ask the Lord for answers. It came into his spirit, the blessing. He now stood up and said, the blessing is working on me and around me. Right now, the blessing is bringing health to my body. Sickness, you can no longer stay here. I believe I'm healed in Jesus' name. The very next hour, it was as if he was never sick. Did you hear that? Tell your neighbor the blessing. It is the highest release of heaven's authority on earth. God's word says, and God blessed them. And God said, be fruitful. I've told you before, the blessing is not just an empowerment to prosper. It is also the pronouncement of an empowerment to prosper. So hear this. When God said to them, be fruitful, God was not communicating. You know what he was doing? He was transferring power. He was releasing authority into Adam and Eve. It wasn't talk. A, a, a translation or rather a paraphrase of Genesis 128 will go like this. God blessed them by saying. Hallelujah. So he wasn't just communicating. What was he doing? Transferring power. Releasing authority upon Adam and Eve. He said to them, be. The word be in the Hebrew is the word haya. Can I spell? H-A-Y-A-H. -A -A haya means to become. It means to come to pass. It means to exist. Glory to God. It means the minute God said it, they became what God said. Power was transferred to be what? To multiply, to be fruitful. Glory to God. To subdue the earth, to replenish it and have dominion. The Lord give you understanding in Jesus' name. It is the pronouncement of an empowerment to prosper. So, the same power that God used to create the earth, hallelujah, and to create the Garden of Eden, he was now transferring to Adam and Eve. Follow me closely. What he was saying to them was like this. You are going to take this power and produce the Garden of Eden all over the earth. He said to them, be. Glory. May you be sound throughout this year. You will never be sick another day in your life. You will be fruitful. You will multiply. In the name of Jesus, you will subdue your environment. Every door resisting you now will open for your sake. This week you will have a testimony. And four more will follow you in the next four weeks. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody say thank you Jesus. So follow me closely now. Eden was a replica of heaven. Follow me closely. Eden was what? A replica of heaven. So Adam was meant to create heaven on earth. How? With the blessing. Hallelujah. Watch this. So if you are walking in the blessing, your days in God's mind should actually be like the days of heaven on earth. No sickness. No captivity. No sorrow, no begging, no lack, no shortage. That is God's plan. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. So, brethren, get a picture of how powerful the blessing is. Hear me? It doesn't matter how bad a place, you know, or your situation is. It doesn't matter how much damage has been done by the enemy or how much wasteland or destruction has taken place. The blessing is powerful enough to fix it. Somebody said the blessing. It is powerful enough to fix it. He said there, God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, subdue the earth, replenish it. You know what replenish means? Replenish means to perpetually resupply. Replenish means to recover form and fullness. Replenish means to stock with abundance. Now, God in the blessing has empowered you to replenish. 
So that means anywhere you really step into, things got to change. If you catch this concept, you stop begging. Hallelujah to Jesus. You catch this concept, you break free from depression. You catch this concept, you won't allow a day of poverty in your life. He said, replenish. Glory to God. The blessing. Hear me, no matter what had gone wrong, the blessing can fix it. The blessing can fix it. The blessing was meant to take the garden wherever Adam went. Guess what? You know, I told you about four weeks ago, when I didn't even know this much. No, last year, I said to you that man in his original state was not designed to live outside the blessing. I now find that Adam wasn't meant to live outside the garden of Eden. Anywhere he went, the blessing on him was supposed to produce the garden of Eden. So it should be with you anywhere you go to. That's why God could say, wherever the soles of your feet shall touch, they have given unto you for a possession. Brethren, where God take over the earth, we will take over companies, where God take over multinationals, we, we will recover marriages, where God take over billion dollar concerns. You know why? We are blessed. Hallelujah. We are blessed people. Listen to this testimony. I'll give you this free of charge. You know, there was this conference. All of you know I love Kenneth Copeland. How many of you don't know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I do my best, my wife and I take her to meetings. Sometimes we escape from here. The church doesn't even know. Attend meetings and come back. You know why? You must feed your faith. Now listen. At the last minister's conference last month, Bill Winston was saying, giving this testimony. He said, a place in America called Newark, Newark in New Jersey. You know, who knows Newark? Uh -huh. So the place was in serious financial trouble. You know, suffered a huge downturn. It had practically become a virtual wasteland because of the recession. Unemployment was high. Hopelessness was rampant. Drug problems were serious. Businesses were closing down. There were vacant lots and vacant buildings. This continued until, somebody say until. Until a pastor got a revelation of the blessing. He understood it to the extent they could speak it. He now sent members of his church out into Newark, two by two. Their responsibility, anywhere you get to, any block, pronounce the blessing. So, they would get to a crack house. You know what a crack house is? Where they shoot crack and shoot drugs and ruin their lives. They'll get to a crack house, they'll say, I bless this house. Somebody will say, why are you blessing a crack house to make it prosper? No, they were calling heaven into that house. Remember I told you that the blessing is the highest release of heaven's authority. After they bless the place, listen now, in a short while, the crack house will suddenly close down. A new property will be developed. New tenants will move in. The complexion of that neighborhood will change. They notice this pattern and continue to speak the blessing. A place in America called Newark. Newark in New Jersey. You know, who knows Newark? Uh -huh. So the place was in serious financial trouble. You know, suffered a huge downturn. It had practically become a virtual wasteland because of the recession. Unemployment was high. Hopelessness was rampant. Drug problems were serious. Businesses were closing down. There were vacant lots and vacant buildings. This continued until, somebody say until, until a pastor got a revelation of the blessing. He understood it to the extent they could speak it. He now sent members of his church out into Newark, two by two. Their responsibility, anywhere you get to any block, pronounce the blessing. So, they would get to a crack house. You know what a crack house is? Where they shoot crack and shoot drugs and ruin their lives. They'll get to a crack house, they'll say, I bless this house. Somebody will say, why are you blessing a crack house to make it prosper? No, they were calling heaven 
into that house remember i told you that the blessing is the highest release of heaven's authority after they bless the place listen now in a short while the crack house will suddenly close down a new property will be developed new tenants will moving the complexion of that neighborhood will change they notice this pattern and continue to speak the blessing over a, a neighborhood a town that was practically a wasteland they kept speaking it suddenly mark zuckerberg the owner of facebook decided to give newark a hundred million dollars for redevelopment they were rejoicing over that suddenly panasonic decided to move their world headquarters to newark suddenly motels began to rush to come to newark suddenly motels began to come why the blessing was spoken i told you the blessing is the only force powerful enough to deal with anything that is broke no matter what is broke in your life or your family or your environment the blessing can fix it this is why this morning i call your business blessed i, I bless your marriage I, I bless your business i bless your career i bless your profession i bless your family in the name of jesus will take authority over the disintegration will bless your job hold your wallet in your hands and hold your business cards if you are watching me on television place your hands on the television hold it let me bless your business i bless your business i bless your projects whatever damage had been done we command a replenishment i bless your career i bless the work of your hands i bless your body in the name of the lord jesus i call you blessed what did i say the blessing is the only thing powerful enough to fix whatever is broke what are those things are visible or invisible it is the blessing this is why god could say the blessing of the lord it make it rich Say with me, Pastor, we hear you. Hallelujah to Jesus. The blessing is the only thing strong enough to fix anything that is broken. And the blessing is so powerful that no matter the level of damage that was done, if the blessing comes in and finishes, you won't even know that anything bad happened in your life or in your neighborhood. This one can prophesy a new beginning. I bless you and I release a new beginning over your life. No matter what you lost, no matter what the devil broke, no matter what you messed up through carelessness, we command the blessing. We release the blessing. We call a new beginning over your ministry, over your career over your business over your marriage your bank accounts in the name of the lord jesus where we draw your name from the itc by the word of god you rise i call you blessed in the name of the lord jesus in the next four weeks four major miracles some of them you were expecting most of them you are not even expecting but our god is about to visit you our god is about to turn his face in your direction for a new beginning because the blessing is at work in your life i call you blessed again understand something i now got to know that this is why Jesus in his mission statement